Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be unboxing my BoxyCharm. It is the month of March and I'm doing my February box right now. I apologize for being late. It's been a busy few weeks and this is my first time I've had a chance to film this. So if you'd like to see what's inside the February's box, then please keep watching. So let's just jump right into it. This is February's box and the theme is Galaxy Glow. First thing I'm gonna grab is this right here. Smoky Eye Pencil. No, sorry. Xbox Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. So this retails for $17 with an instant boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads. This 4-in-1 lip scrub pencil exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and soothes. I'm just going to put this guy right on. So it looks like a crayon. Oh yeah, you can feel it. It's like rough. So you can definitely feel the sugar on it. I like lip scrubs because if I ever have dry lips, I don't really right now, but whenever my lips are chapped, it really helps get rid of those pieces of skin on your lips. And it tastes good too. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave that on. Now it claims to be plumping and I don't usually like plumping things because my lips sting so bad, but we'll see how this one goes. The next thing in the box are these and I'm super excited. I always like getting brushes and these are the brand Crown, which I've received Crown brushes in the past. So Trio brush set, this retails for $30. Oh, you get your three brushes that look like so. I don't know if you can really see with my sunlight shining in. So it says that this smaller brush here, let's see, the small brush can be used to conceal imperfections and highlight underneath the eyes. So we're gonna use it for that. I put primer and foundation on. So now I'm just gonna grab my favorite concealer, which is the one I use in like every video, my Maybelline. I don't normally use a small brush for my concealer, but we'll try it out. Well, that definitely blended it out. I don't know if that's really my favorite way to apply concealer, but this would even be like a good eyeshadow brush, honestly. I almost feel like that took off more product than it applied, but it's still a soft, good brush. I would probably just use it for something else like I normally do. The awesome thing about makeup is there's really no rules for anything and you can use anything for anything. So if you get a brush and it says use for this, you can use it for whatever you it want. It says that the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. So this is the large powder brush, so I'm going to do exactly that because I've got my cream stuff on and now I'm just going to set it in place. So I'm just dipping into some translucent powder, tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to, ooh, that fits perfectly under my eye. Ooh, I like that brush. You know, again, you could even use this for contouring your face. You could use this for your bronzer. Um, I like using big powder brushes like this guy when I'm going in with my powder because then it covers like a lot more of my face. But this is still really good. Another multi-use kind of brush. And then the medium sized brush, it says you can use this to sculpt the cheekbones and 
perimeter of the face. So this is supposed to be like a bronzing brush. So I'm going to use my new favorite. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I'm just gonna dip a little bit in because I don't really know how this brush is gonna act. And it literally smells like you're putting chocolate on your face. <laughs> Very dense brush. grab this guy right here next this is cover effects which is an awesome makeup brand um, it says a pearlescent cream perfect for eyelids but can be used anywhere you want this buildable formula feels weightless lasts all day and won't crease or transfer so this claims that you can use this anywhere your lips you can use it as a highlighter your eyelids so I'm going to use it as a eyeshadow. I just primed my lids and I'm just letting that dry a bit. Um, but the Cover Effect Shimmer Veil retails for $28. And I'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see what it looks like. There we go very sparkly and purple and pink. I'm going to attempt to put this on my eyelids and see how it looks. So it's very liquidy when you first put it on, but it dries really fast. Next thing in the box is this eyeliner by the brand Vintage. Um, we've received quite a few things from this brand in the box before. And this is called Smoky Eye Pencil, and this retails for $21. I've never been good at eyeliner, but this is actually applying really easily. Although on top of this liquid eyeshadow, it may start to smudge a bit. Tight lining is basically when you put eyeliner underneath your eyelashes up here, and it really takes away that lash line in between and makes it like a solid black line. actually pretty easy to do with this because it's very sharp okay so I put some more of that eyeliner just on my waterline which I actually really like that and then just added some mascara the last but certainly not least product in February's boxycharm is this cool packaging and it's naked cosmetics which gets me super stoked I love naked like a lot holographic highlighter palette okay so this retails for $40 with six stunning holographic shades this highlighting palette is essential for any makeup enthusiast each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transform any look into something enchanting oh sounds exciting okay let's take a peek oh that's interesting okay so you've got six shades, green, blue, yellow, and some red and pink and peachy colors up top. Weird, I've never highlighted my face with anything like this. I'm scared. Okay, let's use a fan brush. I'm really scared. Okay, I want to try the blue because the blue scares me the most. And let's hope my face doesn't turn blue because I'm going out after this. I don't know if this is the right brush to use. Definitely um, kicking back like there's powder coming up when I do this. Okay, let's give 
give it a go. Different brush, another fan brush. This one's a bit thicker. Okay, I see something. Okay, I see it. It looks like a normal white highlight. I have so much texture right here right now, so it's not very nice to highlight this, but. Okay, let's add green. <gasps> Ooh, cool. This one definitely looks pretty green, but. Oh, I have like zits all right here, and I'm highlighting them. I'm gonna add another color on top. Am I crazy? I might be. Let's try this pink. I see these holographic highlighter things online a lot, but I've never had the urge to buy one. I think this is something I'm gonna have to play around with a bit. And maybe use a different brush still. I found a surprise in the bottom of the box. Always check your whole box. This is a coupon, 20% off your next purchase at CoverEffects.com. So I added up all of the products and what they're worth and it came out to $135.98. I spend about $30, $35 on these boxes and they're always well over $100 worth of good products. So go and get it. Like, what else do I have to say? That's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Bye!